to layer up for Tomorrow? Halloween. Uh, Halloween you will have to, but you'll have to get those layers out sooner than that because things are going to change in a big hurry in the next 12 to 18 hours. Let me show you what it looked like the tail end of this day. Beautiful along the front range. This is our view and time lapse. Mark Campbell that's out at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science at City Park. Great looking sunset, not a cloud in the sky. Top temp was 84 degrees, and by the time we get to Friday morning, we'll be down to 20 degrees, if not even a couple of degrees lower. Folks, that's a 64 degree drop in only about 36 hours. Wow, that's something else. So 84 and 47 today, that's about right for August. The record high was 80 back in 2014, the record low at 1, and the normals are 62 and 33. Right now, it's still really mild out there, 62 at the airport, 58 degrees downtown. Pressure is falling as this weather system begins to move in. So we are going from first alert weather to a first alert action day beginning tomorrow morning. Much colder, light rain and snow. You want to plan for this. You'll dress very differently tomorrow compared to what you did for today. So there's the front coming our way. Let me show you the big picture first. What this thing's going to do over the large part of the western United States over the next 24 to 36 hours. The cold front comes through. It's Canadian air, so not a lot of moisture. We get some snow with it, but much colder air. And then it becomes a pretty big storm with severe thunderstorms across the Midwest and snow over Minnesota and Wisconsin by Friday morning while we have much colder air. Bring it back down closer to home. We'll be 49 degrees at 7 a.m., 47 at noon. The showers begin by 6 o'clock, 38 by midnight down to 30. So 40 degrees colder tomorrow afternoon. Let me take this hour by hour as this front begins to move in. As you can see, as this front begins to push in by early tomorrow morning, get some clouds coming in, but no problem for the morning drive tomorrow. You'll have dry roads and some sunshine. The action starts to go as the front goes by by noon. The rain showers develop some snow up in the mountains. Temperatures start to tumble. The winds come in from the north at about 30 miles per hour. By 6 o'clock, some snow continues to the south and west of Denver and all the way down toward the uh, Alamosa Trinidad area. But by the time we get to midnight tomorrow night, things are pretty much cleared out and those temperatures take a dive by early Friday morning. As far as the amount of snow, it's not going to be a lot with this system. We'll see about three to six in the mountains, one to three western Jefferson, Douglas County, and just a trace or so over the Denver area. So this is not a big snowmaker. It's a cold air maker. Look at these numbers across the front range for Friday. Low 20s in the morning will be mid 30s by about 9 a.m. and near 40 by noon under a mostly sunny sky. So tomorrow, much colder, some snow develops, and the winds gust from the north. Cold morning on Friday, 18 to 20 degrees, and then only 43 in the afternoon. It gets better in a hurry. Saturday's back to 57, Sunday back to 65. And then looking ahead to Halloween, there is another little system coming in on Tuesday with a chance of some showers and temperatures in the 40s. So it won't be the warmest Halloween, but certainly not the coldest <laughs> or snowiest. Bad. But you want to bundle up your ghouls and goblins just a little bit on Tuesday.